Okay, the quick follow-up here to our FRPT, our um, free weekly stock pick. I'll show you the daily again real quick. Huge gap down, um, I don't know, a week and a half ago. Nothing but red candles ever since. Uh, and then this is what it did today. I'll show you the intraday how we handled it. But we had this on bounce watch. In other words, we were looking for a break of its first 30 minutes high. Okay, so what you do is you look and see what high it set in the first 30 minutes. These are 15-minute candles. Uh, and it hit 466 early right here. Then pulled back a little bit, so the trigger was 467. Worst case stop, um, 452. So that's 15 cent risk. We love a narrow range like that. Uh, this didn't even come down here. This this little tail here, that didn't even happen. If you switch to one minute candles, you can see that, that was just one of those we call it an errant tick. It didn't trade down to there. Even if it did, it wouldn't have stopped you out because it didn't go below the low of the day. But just wanted to let you know that it didn't trade down like that. So 467 was the trigger. And it did fairly quickly, within uh, another 30 minutes, pop to 4.79. Um, I did sell up in this area, I scaled out, and I went to a break-even stop on the back half. So I got stopped on the back. So half my position uh, took a nice, you know, it's not a huge trade, but it took a, a decent percentage gain. For folks that left their original stop in place, um, it ended up closing strong and going all the way to uh, 4.81. Um, and again, it's kind of interesting on the daily here. Because now you have a solid green candle, even engulfed yesterday's um, trading. So, you know, it could be a decent swing for some of it too. But I, w I went to cash before the market closed here. And uh, just to show you why these bounce plays or how these bounce plays can work, we had AIG, which is a stock you'll never see on our watch list. But believe it or not, we had it on our watch list for a bounce play today for our members um, because this thing's just straight off a cliff. This is after a reverse split, by the way. Um, but just straight off a cliff and huge volume yesterday. It was overshadowed by today's volume, but huge volume looked like capitulation to us. So again, I'll show you what happened with AIG today. Also, we were looking for a break at the 30-minute high. Uh, here's your first 15-minute candle. Set a high of 9.12, then pulled back a little bit. So the trigger was 9.13. Worst case stop uh, b below the previous 15 here on this one, uh, 8.44. From 9.13... Went all the way to um, 12.44 for a huge trade. And a few of our members got this. I'm embarrassed to say I was looking elsewhere and missed the trade myself. Uh, but there were uh, uh, several members in the chat room that uh, did well on AIG today. And it, I mean, once it, once it triggered, 15 minutes later, could have gone to a break-even stop and the thing never looked back. So huge short squeeze there in AIG today. Um, and again, I always recommend going to cash before the market closes. So... Uh, there's an example, a better example of, than force protection that we sent out, but even force protection paid me today. But this is a better example of how these oversold uh, stocks can work on balance plays. So have a great weekend, and we'll uh, talk to you next week.